everyone. Welcome back to another Key and Guru English class. I'm Scott and I'm your English teacher. Last time we met, we learned five nouns that we can use when discussing endangered species. Today, I have five adjectives for you that will make conversations about endangered species even more interesting. We will learn why some animals are in danger and what we can do to help save them. The words are vulnerable, endangered, extinct, diverse and dangerous. Vulnerable. Vulnerable is an adjective and the word has four syllables. Listen to me stress the first syllable in the word. Vulnerable. Let's try it together. Vulnerable. Vulnerable. An animal that is vulnerable is an animal that will become endangered very soon if something is not done to help the animal to survive. For example, if a monkey loses its natural habitat, the forest, then the monkey may become vulnerable and easy to hurt. I will put the word vulnerable into a sentence for you. The polar bear is a vulnerable species because of illegal hunting and a loss of its natural snowy habitat. Together, one more time. Vulnerable, great work. Endangered. Endangered is an adjective with three syllables. The second syllable is stressed. Endangered. Repeat after me. Endangered. Endangered. Nice work, everyone. Endangered is the next step after vulnerable. An animal that is endangered is an animal that may soon not exist because there are so few alive. That is a sad situation. There are many animals that are endangered. The Vietnamese saola, the Asian elephant, and the South China tiger are all endangered species. Here is a sentence with our new adjective. Most people agree that we have a duty to protect endangered animals from extinction. Let's try it together and remember, we stress the second syllable. Endangered. Wow! Extinct. The word extinct is also an adjective and has two syllables. Tell me if you can hear what syllable is stressed. Extinct. Yes, the second syllable. Now together out loud. Extinct. Extinct. What does the word extinct mean when we are talking about endangered species? If an animal is extinct, then that animal does not exist anywhere on Earth. It has gone forever. Here is the word extinct in a sentence. The West African black rhino was declared extinct in 2006 after conservationists could find no more animals in Cameroon. The horn of the rhino very valuable. Repeat after me. Extinct. Good job. 
diverse. Diverse is an adjective with two syllables. And just like extinct, we stress the second syllable. Diverse. Listen closely and then repeat after me. Diverse. Diverse. The word diverse means many different types. If you like all types of music, I could say you like a diverse range of music. When we talk about endangered species, the word diverse has the same meaning. Many different types of animals. For example, the zoo in Ho Chi Minh City has a diverse group of animals for everyone to see. What about the verb diversify? To diversify is to change and vary the way we do something. For example, if we want to save animals, we could diversify our conservation efforts. I might write letters to the government asking them to protect the animals. If I diversify, I might also use wildlife tourism, education and donations to help protect our animals. Not one single idea, a range of ideas. Let me hear you say diverse one more time with me. Diverse. Dangerous. The word dangerous is an adjective with three syllables. We must put stress on the first syllable. Listen closely. Dangerous. Now it's your turn. Dangerous. Dangerous. If something or someone is dangerous, then that thing or person can cause you harm. Is it dangerous to cross the road without looking for traffic? Yes, that is very dangerous. When we talk about endangered species, we use the word dangerous to describe the things that are causing harm to our animals. For example, cutting trees down in the forest is dangerous to the monkeys in the forest. Pollution in the rivers is dangerous for the fish in the river. Pollution will harm them. Here is a sentence using the word dangerous. A dangerous forest fire destroyed the natural habitat of many animals in the forest. One last time together. Dangerous. Perfect, everyone. What's the time? It is practice time. Ready? Follow me. I will give you four questions and a statement. You need to select the correct answer. A or B. Question one. When is an animal a vulnerable animal? A, when there are thousands remaining in the wild. B, when very few exist in the wild because of illegal hunting. Yes, B, when very few exist, they are vulnerable. Question two. Is it dangerous for the polar bear if the ice melts? A, yes it is dangerous for the polar bear if the ice melts. Or B, no, it is not dangerous for the polar bear if the ice melts. The answer is A. If the ice melts, then the polar bear loses its habitat and that is a dangerous situation. 
Question 3. When is an animal an extinct animal? A. When the animal can be seen at the zoo. Or B. When the animal doesn't exist anywhere on Earth. The correct answer is B. An animal is extinct when it doesn't exist anywhere on Earth. Question 4. If there are many different types of animals in the zoo, is there a diverse range of animals to see? A. Yes. Or B. No. The answer is A. Many different types means diverse. Last one, question five. An endangered animal will soon be extinct if we can't do things to help it survive. A, true. B, false. The answer is A, true. An endangered animal needs our help to survive. Well done, everyone. Fantastic concentration. We now have five nouns and five adjectives to describe and discuss endangered species. Today, we learned vulnerable, endangered, extinct, diverse and dangerous. I love animals and I know that you do as well. Let's all work hard to help them, especially all of the amazing animals here in Vietnam. Practice with the new words when you are talking about endangered species. Remember to use the correct pronunciation. Good job today, everyone. I really enjoyed your company. I will see you at the next Key and Guru English class. Take care and goodbye for now.